everyone, my name is Tori, this is Nova Life, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my bullet journal and planner set up. Um, I asked on Instagram if it was too late to post this and you guys said no, it wasn't. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you. Um, what I did differently from 2021 to 2022 is I had one bullet journal for everything. It was like my planner, my monthly planner, my weekly planner, and I set it all up from scratch. And I hated that because every month it took me like four to five hours to set it up. So I split it up into my reading bullet journal and my planner. They're both pink. This one's metallic pink because I love pink. Obviously, if you can't tell, I love pink. And this is uh, my bullet journal. So I'm going to go through my reading bullet journal first. So this is what it looks like. I will say that my bullet journal is set up almost exactly like Jess from Peace of Books because I watched her bullet journal video that she did back at the end of December when I got this for Christmas for my parents and I kind of set it up that way. I did watch a couple other videos so I've incorporated those. I don't remember but for someone who reads a lot like I do like me and Jess we read a lot. I can't do what normal people do where <laughs> they just track it like they have one page for all their books. I read over 400 books last year. So this is how I have it set up. Honestly, it's exactly like Jess's, but I'll give credit to her because it's definitely due. So this is my first page when you open it up. I got this off of Amazon. Well, my parents got it for me for Christmas off of Amazon. Uh, it is a smart planner dot grid. So I liked the page, how the thickness is. Um, yes, I have my new last name. <laughs> What I like is that it comes with like a key and an index if you wanted to do that for your pages at the beginning. Um, I do have washi tape. I guess I can show you that washi tape in a little bit, but this is my first page. <laughs> I did write this before I did the washi tape. Um, I had really thin washi tape that I got from Christmas, but I didn't realize how thin it was. So I got a um, variety pack with different ones and you'll see that. So this is my first page. This is my second page, which I have my little marker here. This is 2022 in review. Um, I haven't decided exactly, like this is gonna be total books and I have four other spots. I usually do audiobooks, ebooks, physical books, and I'm not sure if I wanna do KU books or not. So yeah, this one is um, kind of as I go. I know I wanna track the total obviously, but I don't know what else exactly I want to track. But yeah, this is the first page. I like my washi tape, it's very pretty. <laughs> I try to match like the washi tape to the the colors of the pens that I use and I can show you those too but I don't particularly like this page because I went outside the lines a lot this is my first page I did and this one is my second page this is monthly review so I had the washi tape down the middle I love this washi tape it's like a handwritten one so I want to track my favorite and my total books for the month just like I said just had this set up that, that way and I liked it so I did it this way this one is my statistics. So I want to track, I said this in my goals video, my ebook, audio, and physical books. And so I have the months down here and how many there is. It goes up to 50. I don't think I'll ever read 50 physical books in a month or audio or ebook, but yeah, I like the washi tape for this. This is my cover to cover book club with Sam. This is what we're reading so far. We have six, six books. And then when we figure out the last six for the year, I'll add them here, but I like the setup. I like the colors. It matches. Super cute. This one, I hate how I did um, a lighter cover or lighter color for the little font. Yeah, I should have done it this way. Anyway, mistakes were made. It's fine. I have my All is Fair and Love and Words from Brie, her sticker. She sent me that with one with an order that I ordered. And this is where I start. I have a little thing for here. This is where I start all of my like author kind of series. I want to get through a lot of Lorraine Heath's backlist. Um, so this is what I did. I also like this washi tape. I tried to pair it. I'll show you my washi tape, but it has like a color scheme for each thing. So I try to keep it in the same color scheme for each page. So this is Lorraine Heath. As you can tell, I haven't read that many, but I want to get through a lot of hers. I really like her books. I have Joanna Shoup over here. Yes, I almost misspelled her name. It's fine. And then I have Talia Hibbert. These are another two authors that I really want to get to. And I like this washi tape. It's pink. It's pretty. This is Kate Bateman. She doesn't have that many books, but I do want to finish up her backlist. And of course, Sophie Lark has her own page. This is my Tessa Dare page. I have been wanting to get through a lot of Tessa Dares as well. And I like this washi tape with the little flowers and the yellow. I love trying to coordinate. It took me like 
hours upon hours and upon hours to do this, but I'm so happy that I did it. So this is my Tessa Dare page. And this is my Lisa Kleypas page. Once again, this is very, very, very ambitious, but I'm pretty sure that I probably could get to these in the whole year, like Ravenel's Wallflowers, Standalones, you know, all those. Hathaways, those are just some of the main ones, but I like my Lisa Kleypas page. And this is just some kind of like um, miscellaneous series that I want to get to. So I have the Mackenzie and the McBrides, the Five Point Moms. This is the Royalty series by Emma Chase, Necessary Evils. I do have the Maid series, but there was a lot of stuff that came out about Daniel Laurie that I probably don't really want to read her stuff anymore. So I'm going to skip that. I have to you know, white it out and do it over. Maiden Lane series, Boston Underworld, and Outlander. I can add a couple more down here if I need to. Um, I probably will as uh, as the year goes on, but these are just the ones starting out 2022 that I want to get to. This is the recommended reads page that I have. Um, I have this from Jen because she recommended it to me at the beginning of the year, which I'm really excited for. Um, Making of a Highlander by Elise. Brayden. Elisa? Elise Brayden? That's the one that I have so far. But if anyone sends me a direct recommendation or things I need to get to, I will write them down here. This is my anticipated releases for 2022. These are ones for January and then I filled in the other ones based on like the dates and stuff like that. So like this one's farther down in May. It's like the last day of May. So of course it's at the bottom, but as things come up, I will add them so I don't forget. And when I make TBRs, I can reference this page. I kind of like it. I kind of messed up a little bit, but it's totally fine. I'm kind of a little messy, but it's fine. Um, this is like, <laughs> I, don't, I hate doing this, but I put my favorite reads here of the month and then I'll, I'll narrow it down based on these two and then these two and then this purple box is like the best of the year. I hate doing that because it's so hard because I read so much, but you know, I left this page blank and I actually just filled this out because I thought, why not do a social media page? I thought it would be cool to do it. Um... I don't always keep track, but it's like how many I've gained for YouTube. So I'll do plus blah, 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 plus blah, blah, blah. Or if I lose followers, I mean, that's highly possible, but it's mostly just to see how much growth I've done. And this is authors I want to read, Courtney Milan. I've actually already read one book this year already by Courtney Milan. And this was my 22 books to read in 2022. So I have read a couple of them so far. Like I said, this one I will cross out and put something else, but this is a YouTube video I already have for 22 books to read in 2022. And this is how I have each month set up. So, so far I have it through June set up and then mid-month or mid-year stuff. So I love this January. I love this washi tape. It's like Greek goddesses kind of a thing. And I have a quote for each month. January, it's kind of a little crooked. It's fine. Um, these are genres that I will fill out based on the month, star rating. Um, I kind of messed up this, but this is mostly for like how many followers I started on the first and then the end of the month and this is audiobook I added this last that's why it's off to the side and this is uh, mid-month into the month so I've already done my mid-month wrap-up so this is all of the books and stats that I have this will be the end of the month and then I will combine it here so I always do two separate wrap-ups and then I'll do my total on the front page so I can just reference that and this is my TBR so this blue box obviously it says romance takeover readathon um if I do a readathon, I'll add that. Uh, I have to remove this one by Milvane because it's not coming out in January. I think she pushed it again, but I still have a decent amount to get through for January, even though it's the middle of the month so far. And this is where I write down all of my books that I'm reading. So I have the book, the author, the type, the star rating, and the genre. I was doing like dates and stuff like that, but I decided not to do that. I'll move this one. Uh, I decided not to do that. So this is mid-month, so this is where I stopped for mid-month and this is what I've read so far after January 14th I think it was and this is blank only because I wasn't sure how the months I don't know what that was I'm not sure how the months are gonna go um see like I'm almost done with this and the month's not even over I still have like 15 days so I'm going to probably do this and then leave this for like books I've borrowed books like from KU books I've bought um audible purchases and um downloads from the library so i think that's what i'm gonna do there to track it like what comes in uh you know book hauls and stuff like that and this is february so i'll just show you really quickly it's the same setup i have this gianna darling quote i didn't like how i did february how i wrote it but very pink because february is valentine's day so i wanted to do a pink theme once again it's the same 
And then this is blank, just in case. And this is March, because March, St. Patrick's Day is green. Chloe Lee is one of my favorite quotes from Chloe Lee's is always only you. I like the green. That's cute. This is April, because you know it's blue. April showers will bring May flowers, which you'll see, but I wanted to use this one. I like this tape. Even though it's galaxy, it still works. It's fine. This is April. And I think uh, for May, oh, well, this page, but that is that page. May is um, not completely done, like with templates, it just takes a while. So May is purple, because I have a bunch of flower tape. Like the May TBR, May flowers, more flowers. <laughs> and then June is the last month that I have, and it is yellow. The summer is pretty. The, ta the pages are sticking together because of the tape. And this is my mid-year kind of wrap-up thing. So I have five-star predictions for that I've already done for January through March. So for for the first quarter and these will be five star predictions for april through june i hope to do at the end of march a wrap up of if these are actually five stars and then i'll do a new video at the beginning of april and do one at the end of june and that's pretty much it that's all i have um i don't know if i would do like every five star book i've read so far for the year but i'm leaving it blank i don't want to continue on with the months until i get through the mid-year so yeah that's almost basically half of the the bullet journal but yeah that's my 2022 reading journal which i like and then i'll go through my planner really quickly it's not super exciting this is more personal stuff block this out <laughs> it's my phone number i got this clever fox planner from amazon also for christmas so i have a lot of like goals stuff that i want i didn't do a vision board because i'm not really a visual person like that <laughs> these are some of my goals more goals I like it because it has um, a lot of goals and I like doing that. So this is my three month goals. I didn't do a mind map. Once again, I'm not like that type of person. This is my January monthly spread. So this is, you know, I always do this. I always put tabs for videos. And then once I film it and edit it, I will put it there. This is like after the month ends, you can review it. And this is February. I've already started planning some of February, but I can move the tabs around as I see fit, which is nice before I actually like film it. Once again, it's the same thing. I use that thin washi tape at the top with some stickers. Um, obviously it just goes month by month by month. And then you get into this part, which I like. So this is, you kind of fill it in as like the dates for what you wanted. So I started um, the last week of December and this was my videos and stuff and anything I needed. I like it because they have um, habits and skills you can fill in when you've done it. Goals, you know, checklist, stuff like that. I put stickers. And then, of course, we get busier as the month <laughs> opens up for the first week of January. Um, I did start a new job, so I had to do a lot of things with that. And this is this week's stuff. This is last week's stuff, so I did a lot of habit stuff. And this is currently this week. <laughs> You know, I put a little thing, checklist. I'm a very organized person this way. <laughs> and this is the week after. And I have, um, like I said, the washi tape. It took me a, de a decent amount of time to set it up, but this is just, I did different colors for different months. And I don't know if you saw that birthday, whoever's birthday that was. Is that my mom's birthday? My mom's birthday is down here, but yeah, I have birthdays set up already. Um, and then at the back, I had to uh, cover up how much I make. I don't really want to show how much I make <laughs> because that's uh, personal, but I did budgets. So this is what the budget looks like, but this is the template that I use. So <laughs> I'll show for March and April because I haven't done my budget, but I, it, they have like bullet journal, kind of like dot journal at the end of this. And they also had a swatch. Well, they didn't have a swatch in this one, but I used it for swatches and stuff like that. But I'm using it for budgets, different, you know, corresponds the color to that. It corresponds the color to um, whatever color is for the month that I filled out. So like March, April, May, June. June is the same color as June. Same thing for May. May is the same color as May. So that's how I did it. And this is, helps me keep up bills, you know, extra money we have income coming in and out. And that's all I have for this one. So, so this is my bullet journal and I wanted to show off the washi tape. So this is the washi tape. Whoa, like 
sampler that I use. If I can find it on Amazon still, I will link it, but it comes in this like little thing. And as you can see, it's like color coded, which was really nice. I was able to do that, but this one's pretty. Another one that I love. This one I use a lot of. I like this one. It's like written, written words, which is, which is nice. But yeah, I got blues, more blues, like purpley, purpley, pinks, red, yellow, green. So that's the sampler I use. And then I got these for Christmas from my parents. They're super, super thin metallic. It comes with this one. I don't really know what that is. I haven't used it, but yeah, this is, I realized it was way too small and I needed more of these for my bullet journal. And these are the pens I use. Um, I got these for Christmases too. I will link them from Amazon in the description box for you if you want to check them out too. But that is my bullet journal tour. I hope you enjoyed it and planner tour, I guess you could say, reading bullet journal and planner tour. I hope you enjoy it for those who wanted it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe for more content from me. As always, I hope you're living an awful life and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.